friends, I'm Pooja Arora and on behalf of GuruKPU.com, I'm giving you video lectures on the subject of discrete maths and in, a, in my last lectures, we have already discussed about the Venn diagram and solving the questions with the help of Venn diagram and uh, today we are going to discuss some of the laws and theorems of uh, set theory because our chapter is set theory is going on and uh, very firstly, I would like to discuss about the De Morgan th uh, theorem. De Morgan law is a law of uh, uh, set theory in discrete maths which is uh, very popular and very important at, as a point of exam point of view and what does the de morgan law said that de morgan law is nothing but it said that if you want to complement the set of a union b if you want to uh, if you want to take the complement of set a union b that will be equal to complement of set a intersection complement of set b there are two identities related to the de morgan's law the very firstly is this one and the second uh, identity said that uh, complement of A intersection B that will be equivalent to complement of A union complement of B. So uh, very firstly we will uh, we will study that how we can prove this identity that means how we can say that complement of A union B is equivalent to uh, complement of A intersection complement of B. So to prove this one uh, we will start with uh, one by one there are two steps to prove any set equivalent to another set the very first step is prove that uh, this is my RHS and this is my LHS so to prove that LHS equal to RHS these are two sets okay this is a set of complement of this and this is a combined set okay so if I want to prove that two set are equal set what I will do I will uh, I will prove that set A is a subset or equal to B and then I will prove that set B is a subset of equal to A. So by these two identities I can say that set A is equal to set B. Okay. What I did, I did if I want to prove that set A is equal to set B, what I will do first step I will prove that set A is a subset or equal to B. In the second step I will prove that set B is a subset or equal to A. By these two statements I can conclude that set A is equal to set B. Okay, this is the way to prove in uh, any set theorem. So very firstly what I am going to prove for this is set A, what is my set A? Complement of A union B. This is a subset or equal to A dash intersection B dash. And in my second step, what I will do? Uh, A dash intersection B dash is a complement or equal to A union B complement. Okay, well, these two identities I am going to prove for only this one. Okay, I will prove this one in my next lecture. Okay, so I am going to prove this, these two steps I am going to conclude and by these two steps I can say that this is equivalent to this. Okay, now if I want to prove a set A is a subset of some another set, what will I do? Uh, as you know the definition of subset, what is subset? Subset is nothing but if um, element X belongs to this set, then the element must be belong to this set, then this set is called the subset of another set. Okay, so to prove this one, what I will do? I will assume uh, uh, element, let's assume X belongs to A union B complement. What is X? X is an element of this set. I just assume it. Uh, let's take X belongs to A union B complement. I am starting with the LHS and I will prove that this is a subset of this one. Okay. So, uh, if X is a, X is belongs to A union B complement, what does it mean? If any element belong to the complement set, that, the, uh, that must be means that this element does not belong to this particular set. With the help, uh, definition of complement, I can say this, that if X belongs to A union B complement, then X must not be belongs to A union B. This you can uh, this you can get with the definition of complement set. Okay, so if I am saying that this implies that if I am saying that X is not belongs to A union B, what does it mean? Is mean that X not belongs to A and X not belongs to B. 
well how can i write this with the help of the definition of union operation in my last lecture i have already discussed all the operation from that lecture you can get the definition of complement you can get the definition of union operation uh, if you don't remember this just go to my last lecture and uh, visit again so uh, what i i will say that if x not belongs to a union b it means that x not belongs to a and x not belongs to b okay now i am saying that x the element is not in a it is also not in b so it will not be in the common element x not belongs to a intersection b sorry i am going to prove that x not belongs to a if x does not belongs to a x must be belongs to the complement of a okay with the help of the definition of complement of a set and x not belongs to b it means that x belongs to b dash okay now we know that x belongs to a dash and x belongs to b dash well x belongs to a dash and x belongs to b dash means that x belongs in both of the set so x will be a common element between a dash and b dash so x is a common element between a dash and b dash and we denote the common element mathematically with the help of the intersection operation so i am writing that x belongs to a dash intersection b dash okay now look at this we start by by having that x belongs to a union b complement with the left hand side of my identity and i conclude that x belongs to a dash intersection b dash this is the right hand side of my identity so x belongs to this and i prove that x belongs to this this means that a union b complement is a subset or equal to a dash intersection b dash so this is the first thing i have proved for this theorem now i will conclude the same that i will uh, inverse of this that this is a subset of this by both proving both uh, identities i can conclude that these two sets are equal so to prove that i will start again with the left hand side what i will do i will have an element i will take an element x belongs to a dash intersection b dash okay this is in the set of intersection intersection means uh, it is in both of them x belongs to a dash and x belongs to b dash okay now we know that x belongs to a dash so we can say that x is not belongs to a and x is not belongs to b okay x is not in a x is not in b so we can say x will not be in a union b if i take the union of set a and set b x will not be there because it is not in a and it is not in b so definitely it will not be in a union b now i know that x is not in a union b then i can say that x must be in the complement of this set a union b complement okay so i start with that x belongs to a dash intersection b dash and then conclude that x belongs to a union b complement okay so by this thing i can say that a dash intersection b dash is a subset or equal to a union b complement okay so this is my first thing i have proved and this is my second thing i have proved by these two statements statement 1 and statement 2 i can conclude that a union b complement that will be equal to a dash intersection b dash because this set is a subset of this and this set is a subset of this that means ki these two sets are equal so in this way we prove the uh, the de morgan so first identity what we do we nothing but uh, we prove the right hand side and left hand side we take a example of an element and uh, it belongs to the left hand side and we conclude that it belong to the left hand uh, right hand side so in this way we prove that this set is a subset of this set and in the same way we prove the inverse of this identity so by these two uh, statement we can conclude that this set is equal to this set so this is my first identity is proved here of de morgan's law um, let's start with the second statement of de morgan's law de morgan's law second statement said that uh, a intersection b's complement is equivalent to a's complement union b's complement okay and to prove this statement true 
uh, we will uh, have the same process as I told before thus I will prove that A intersection B's complement is a subset or equal to A's complement union B's complement and again I will prove that A, uh, A's complement union B's complement is a subset of A intersection B's whole complement ok and to prove this one I will start with the same process I will assume that uh, element X belongs to A intersection B complement ok so it is in complement that means that it does not belongs to A intersection B ok X not belongs to A intersection B what does it mean it nothing but uh, it is not the common element between A and B it simply means that either X is not in A or X is not in B ok uh, X is not in A or X is not in B uh, so it is not in common element between A and B and by having these two statement I can say that X not belongs to A union B because uh, A union sorry I'm sorry I will go with if X not belongs to A X must belongs to A's complement or X not belongs to B means that X must belongs to B's complement and by having this identity that X not belongs to A dash or X not belongs to B dash conclude that X belongs to A dash union B dash wherever I have or operation I will replace it with the union operation and wherever I have and keyword I will replace it with the intersection operation ok uh, this is a symbol to replace and this is the way to prove so I have proved that A intersection B complement is a subset or equal to A dash union B dash now the second part to prove is A dash in, uh, union B dash is a subset or equal to A intersection B's complement and to prove that I will start again with having X belongs to A dash union B dash ok what does it means that X belongs to A dash or X belongs to B dash ok uh, X belongs to A dash means X does not belongs to A and X does not belongs to B ok and uh, by having this one I can say that if X is not in A or X is not in B that will be not in common element between A and B so I can conclude that X does not belong to A intersection B X does not belong to A intersection B means that X belongs to a intersection B's complement ok so uh, by proving this one I will say that A dash union B dash is a subset or equal to A intersection B's complement ok this is my second statement I have proved and this is my first statement I have proved so by using these two statement I can say that these two sets are equal A intersection B's complement is equal to A dash union B dash ok so I have proved my second statement of De Morgan's law De Morgan's law is generally used to find the complement of the set and if you find the if you want to find the complement of the set what you have to do you have to complement each set and replace the operation if the operation is union you have to replace with intersection and if the operation is intersection you have to replace with union ok what I am saying I am repeating my statement that De Morgan's uh, law is used to get the complement of a particular set ok and if I want to find the complement of this set what I will do I will uh, complement each set just like A dash B dash C dash and I will inverse the operation that means uh, replace the operation with the opposite one that means if I am having a union operation I will replace it with intersection and if I am having an intersection between the two sets I will replace it with the union set this is a way to use the De Morgan's uh, law in today's uh, lecture I will sh I show that how to prove the De Morgan's theorem and in my next lecture I will give you some examples of De Morgan's theorem if you like my video please like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel gurukpa.com thank you